Oh, I can't hear anybody. I'm going to have to be on the left. Okay, so I guess we can make a start. Um, you will have seen that we promoted the voice viewer early this week. Um, we already have one new bug against it, but it's not too terribly serious. But uh, so that's out. Um, and you are encouraged to pick up those changes. The uh, RCs we have running now are Animesh, Bug Splat, and Love Me Render, which is another round of rendering fixes. I believe Love Me Render still needs an update from to get the voice viewer merge. Um, so let me look at that. Yeah, it does awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's still not updated. Um, bug splat also needs an update that just went to QA. So um, hopefully we'll get both of those updated early next week. Um, Animesh already has that merge. And uh, so we're, we're hoping to get uh, lots of users on that. Um, and Sometime, hopefully next week, we will have another maintenance viewer that will have a, a bunch more bug fixes. Um, because we always like to have one of those in the pipeline. Um, project viewers we have out now, there's the estate management improvements, which um, we got some very good feedback from the first few users of that. Uh, that's being... Um, uh, I don't know that there's anything that will dramatically improve frame rates in, in any of these. Um, uh, yes, I think I th they, well, it is, our, it is our current belief that that was not really a KDU bug, um, but there there is a, a workaround in there. Um, and we're working with um, Cockadoo to try to figure out if there's something we can we can do. Um, uh, we did put a change into the Open JPEG build that prevents you from creating the textures that were causing that problem. So. Um, Uh, it's it's really a disagreement between KDU and OpenJPEG about what the legitimate way to do things is. So, well, um, but you have exhausted the depth of my knowledge on it. Um, we have a Bakes on Mesh project viewer available. It's still only usable on Aditi, but we hope to change that soon on um, Agni. Uh, that's waiting on an update to the inventory service, which is at last looking like it will probably get out of QA and be deployed more widely. Um, but that needs to be grid wide on on Agni before we can put bakes on mesh on Agni. Um, and then we still need to update the bake service. Um, 
we have that waiting. But again, that needs to be, uh, we need to up, get a simulator change out and then a, or first an inventory change, then a simulator change, then the service change, then the viewer will work. Um, it's one of those things where there are a lot of moving parts. Uh, 360 snapshot is, we're continuing to merge up to the latest releases, but there's no active development on that at the moment. Hopefully we'll be able to get back to that um, in the next couple of months uh, and wrap it up. Um, uh, so, uh, and of course, uh, the Environment Enhancements Project, EEP, is um, working its way through QA. Um, so far, QA is winning, but um, we're, we're working hard on trying to get that uh, rolled out. So um, everyone keep your fingers crossed. Uh, when it does appear, uh, I will be... Um, having fun by playing with with it on this region. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I think that's the that's the viewer pipeline. So the floor is open. Yes. You are free to, in, you are clear to incorporate it into your builds. That's the rule. The state manager tools is only project viewer. So we suggest that you do not yet incorporate that into your tools, into your releases. Um, but uh, that will probably go to RC before very long, um, at, at which point it's legit. So, um, we were hoping for more feedback on estate manager tools than we got. Um, that is, we were hoping for more usage than we got. Um, but what usage we did get provided us with some feedback. So we're incorporating that and we'll move forward with what we've got. Uh, the cache changes are in viewer-tco, lindenlab slash viewer-tco. And uh, as soon as Graham gets the things he needs to do for EEP done, that will be his top priority, and we'll, we'll try to get that out as well. So that reorganizes the uh, how the cache is, um, the, everything about the texture cache on the viewer and some other texture pipeline changes. Um, so um, that, that should be really good. Yes, I, I think it will be a significant improvement. Um, it, it will also let you make your caches bigger than the old one did, um, at least on the 64-bit builds. Um, uh, avatar last names. We are working on avatar last names. Is the best I can, I can tell you. Yeah, you can have a bigger texture cache. The current viewer has a limit of I forget what it is, four gigabytes or something. Um, and uh, we aren't we aren't yet close enough to rolling out the new name the name changes to to want to get submissions for names yet but we will we'll figure out a way to do that right now we're still at the process of making sure that all the things all the all of our services will will work smoothly through a name change uh presumably yeah that will that's probably the way we'll do it. No, we have not settled on a cost. Uh, 
And even if we had, I might not tell you, but. Um, Well, I, I don't know what would be as horrid as when resident last name was implemented, but uh, we we will be <laughs> uh, we will be continuing to require that names be in the Latin one alphabetic and numeric character set, so. Hey folks, uh, I wanted to put in a quick plug. We have uh, Animesh out in RC now, so it's, uh, you know, the, the viewer, so it's open season if people want to start, uh, you know, pulling that code into official releases. I don't know what anybody's release time frame looks like, but uh, just wanted to make sure everybody was aware of that. And of course, building Animeshes with it on Agni and doing things with them yeah yeah should it should work agni wide now we've had the server support uh, out for a while and so if you're using the appropriate rc viewer you can uh, go to town Um, I don't. I don't actually know the know the whether that number changed or not. But uh, what did change is that uh, the you now can see uh, who added someone to the estate to a ban list and when. Uh, so it's and and you get to edit it in much larger windows and so forth. So. Um, and the number of estate managers increased, right? Right. So that that it, while we may not have made the number you can ban bigger, we did make it easier to manage the list. Those of us who have to manage estates, uh, thank you very much.
Um, I don't know. You can try the estate management viewer and find out, Animorph. Yes, it is available. It's waiting for me to install it, actually. It's waiting for a lot of people to install it. Well, not for my uh, hard drive, it isn't. <laughs> Uh, Worley, it would be really good if any bugs you found get filed very quickly, please. We We want to get that through the pipeline and get it out to everybody. So... Um, the, the new capabilities are there server side, but unless you've got the right viewer, you can't use them. So, right. Um, and the, so all of that's there and, uh, yeah, good. Any other stuff? Yeah, and EEP, you can you can set the graphic for the both of the heavenly bodies, the moon and the sun. And now you can even set how big they are. No. 
cannot have more than one move. I guess you could have two moons if you're okay with not having a sun. Are the are the are the sun and moon images part of the sky setting, Ryder? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you can have a different one at each layer, but you can only have one. Although you know, you could repurpose the sun. I mean, you turn off the glow around it and right. Yeah, that's that's that project is coming along, but it's you know with as many with as many changes as it as it involved, um, there are going to be lots of little corner cases that have to be hunted down and and uh, squashed before we put it out there. So we're doing that as busily as we can. Unfortunately, our QA people are staying just a little ahead of us in the development side, which is their job. That's good. Means it'll be better when you get it. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I will leave some in just for you, Whirly. <laughs> We can say that because we know you'll find some no matter what we do. So we can claim that we did it on purpose. There you go. I meant to do that. <laughs> right. You did it as a service to Whirly to keep her mind sharp, right? Exactly. Yep. We we wouldn't want we wouldn't want to be wasting her talents. Uh, the JIRA update is currently scheduled for next Wednesday, I believe. There's going to be a blog post about it. Um, and yeah, so it'll be down for uh, several hours and while we fuss with it and shake it down, and then hopefully it will all be back and beautiful. Uh, most things will be the same. The look and feel changes a little bit because they've, we were pretty far behind. So there's lots of, uh, you know, sort of web style upgrades. Um, and it will enable us to do some nicer things internally than we can do now because we were so far behind that they don't work. Uh, but uh, I, functionally, it won't be dramatically different for you, at least not immediately. I am not aware of any work that's being done with abuse reports at the moment. Is there something that's needed?
it would be good if all the users got onto viewers that got the categories from the cap. That would be a really nice thing for support. They continue to get abuse reports from viewers that are using old versions of the categories, which is a drag for them because they have to recategorize them internally. It's a kind of a waste of time. Uh, in theory, it could be. It could be that we could reject abuse reports that don't use a valid category, but we have chosen not to do that so far. Whether or not we ever will choose to do that is not something I'm prepared to speculate about right now. Well, if we've if we've run out of topics, we can all start a weekend a little earlier. Anything else? Is there a minimum version of OpenGL that we support now? Sorry, I have no idea. Ideas for inventory. Inventory is the third rail of the viewer, but what 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 what's the idea anymore?
Oh, we 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 did decide recently. I don't know how quickly it's going to happen, but we did decide recently that the uh, the fix inventory that support can run ought to clean up your calling cards. Um, and and any extra calling card folders that you have. We had a couple of users who came in with problems uh, and it turned out that they had dozens of calling card folders, most of which were empty, but it was confusing to look at. So we're gonna we're gonna improve the fix inventory transform so that it fixes those. Um, and support will be able to do that by pushing a button. Right. Well, we did we did have a bug for a while a couple of years ago that caused them to be duplicated, and um, I think that's been fixed. But there's probably lots of residue from it out there in the world. Uh, I don't. I don't have a prediction for when support will be able to do that with, by pushing a button, uh, but it's on the it's on the list of things to add to what they can do. Uh, I don't have anything to share on the future of Mac rendering. I mean, we'll find a solution, but we haven't we haven't really started seriously on that yet. Um, we are paying some attention to the Linux build. Um, it's still a background task, but we're making a little bit of progress on it. Um, so uh, I'm I'm hoping that that before the end of the year, we'll, we'll have some news on that, but I wouldn't bet on it much faster than that. Um, and even if we do do it, it will have limited functionality. For example, it won't have voice, probably won't have voice, uh, because we don't get a current voice, uh, a current Linux voice kit from, uh, Fox. Right. Fivox dropped support for Linux, so we don't have any way to do that. Uh, I don't think I'm prepared to discuss what we might or might not have considered. Um, that's one of those that's one of those tricky questions i can i can always say yes we considered it but that doesn't actually tell you anything at all uh my my experience is that voice is approximately as as reliable as any ip voice is Which is not to say that from some places in the world that might not be um, very difficult.
Um, before I came here and started having fun for a living, that was what I did, and I am not eager to go back. <laughs> Yeah, the new the new voice viewer did change change a bunch of stuff that's that's significantly better. So that's the one we just promoted. Uh, Go for it, really. Now the server stuff is all out. It's uh, it's been out on all of Agni for a few weeks now. We haven't made any changes to that yet, uh, Annie. Okay, well, yeah, we may we may adjust things in the future. I, we, it's been talked about, but uh, we haven't made any final decisions on any of that. Uh, I I don't personally think that changing the upload cost would have a very dramatic effect unless we were really egregious about it.
Right. Right. Thanks for coming, everybody. Um, Thanks, Alice. Let me look at my right. calendar here. There's just the next meeting. Uh, should be, yeah, uh, September, September 7th, right? That, this one's the two weeks. I think the one in the middle of September is liable to be rescheduled, but I'll, I'll get that up on the wiki. Two weeks. Bye, all. Farewell. Yes, thank you very much, Lindens. Now let's see if I can go home without crashing. I made it here without crashing. Uh, yeah, I think I might have found the problem, but I'm not sure. I'm testing. I think it's a graphics card issue. 